Hey, hey, and welcome to map 5 of Plutonia. This is Ghost Town. We're going to take down these two chain gunners in the windows here, and then we're going to grab the chain guns because we really want to do that. We don't want to go into the water because I'm pretty sure that hurts us, even though it doesn't look like it should hurt us. So, again, Plutonia consistent with its hurt flaws. We like to see it, not. When we hit that switch, it lowers down these two barons. Now, what I like to do here, I like to get these Borny boys to come down and hit one of the barons each. So you can see here, if you sort of get them to shoot missiles at you, it's very easy to kind of manipulate in fighting here. So let them do all the heavy lifting here. So I'm going to use the chain gun here to take down this baron. Just got to be a bit careful because as we head up the stairs, we actually do become a target for the enemies who are out in the courtyard as we sort of back up here. So it's got to be a bit careful there. So you can see the Mancubus was, was taking aim and shot at us there. But we have got rid of the Barons there. Make sure you grab all the ammo you can from this area. I like to stay in here and shoot the Mancubus over the hole here. I like to get rid of as many of these enemies here as you can because you're pretty well defended here. It's, it's quite easy to get out of the way of, of the fire from the Mancubus and the Caco Demons in this area. There we go. So we'll come over to the other side, grab some ammo, and then we'll drop down. So once we drop down, we're going to head over here. There's quite a bit of stuff we can pick up, but first things first, I'm going to come down here and start taking out these chain gunners. Now, this courtyard is sort of lined with these chain gunner traps and it's a bad idea to stand in the middle of that courtyard until you've dealt with at least one side of these chain gunners because there's a lot of chain gunners in this level. There's a rocket launcher behind there which I'm going to grab. We're going to take down these chain gunners here. The idea here is that the I don't want these guys wandering through the level sneaking up on me so it's best to just get rid of them. Now that we've kind of taken out one side of this, it becomes a bit easier to manipulate and dominate this area. Because now it's fairly easy to kind of come out here and shoot these chain gunners here. So you can hear there are some Arachnatrons in this courtyard here. But luckily, because we've taken care of all the chain gunners, we can now take our time taking these guys out. I recommend doing this because as soon as we step into that courtyard, more chain gunners are going to pop up from those pillars that you can see on the right hand side there. So yeah, you can see as well there's a spider mastermind at the end of the courtyard there. Now what's annoying about the spider mastermind here is, is that it can actually shoot you across this area so you need to be a bit wary of it. Luckily, there's a plasma rifle here, there's a mega sphere, and there's a super shotgun to help you out. The super so shotgun's behind this teleporter. Now, I actually kind of like the design of this level. I do kind of feel that it's designed in a way to kind of offer lots of cover for the player, but also kind of there's a few traps here to catch the players out. Now, what I'm not a fan of is the fact that they kind of use the same trap several times, so. This level goes pretty hard on the chain gunner traps, and unfortunately that's only going to get worse as we kind of make our way through Plutonia. So we're just going to take out these chain gunners here. So now the next objective is to get rid of this spider mastermind here. Generally, as long as you've grabbed the megasphere, this won't be too difficult. You can sort of body a few shots from it. Obviously, if you want to take your time, you can stand over here and just launch rockets in. I don't want to use the plasma rifle right now. I'm actually saving that for the end of the level. And there goes the spider mastermind. So when we come in here, it actually opens up yet more chain gunners in this courtyard here. So you can see more have popped up on the sides here, but luckily we've just been given a whole bunch of rockets, so we're going to definitely be making use of those. Don't know, I think he fell down off his little platform. So 
So as we grab the blue key here, the lights go out there and there are a bunch of Borny boys who sort of come out here. Again, I do kind of like how there's plenty of space for the player to kind of back out of. So the trap isn't sort of super mean there because even though there's a whole bunch of dangerous enemies, at least like novice players who kind of are playing this for the first time have a route of escape. Kind of like what I've done here. And once you've kind of got control of this area, it's easier to kind of funnel these Borny boys out onto the ledge here. I like using the rocket launcher against them because the splash damage kind of damages them all. But yeah, you can see this is an interestingly textured area. There's lots of metal going on, there's lots of grass, lots of meat floors here. So, And then there's a water texture there. So there's a lot of different styles coming together in those little parts there. Gonna grab that med kit. So we're not actually that far from the end of this level. Luckily this isn't a super long one. A lot of these Plutonia levels aren't super long, but they do kind of leave an impression. So you can see up the stairs there, lots of bodies kind of hanging off those poles, which is nice. Gonna shoot the pinky there. So as we head up here, two arch vials kind of drop down from there. This is a very fun trap in my opinion. Because obviously players are gonna be running up the stairs there. You gotta be careful because they will rush you and they will sort of attack you if you're not careful. They are reviving some of the enemies in here, but none of the nasty enemies, which is fine. Probably the most annoying part of this room is these chain gunners who sort of pop up behind the entrance here. You can see we are in a total meat room here. There's another arch vial at the end of the room there. But what I'm going to do, we're just going to use the super shotgun here to take out the Barons of Hell because we don't want to be dealing with those and the arch vial at the same time. So the arch vial is actually trapped in that little sort of enclosure there. It can't actually get out into the rest of this room, which is fine by me. So in order to kind of bring up the walls here, you actually have to hit the door here. So my main focus is getting rid of that arch vial. Four rockets should do it. So you have these two barons who are hiding behind the walls, which I guess is just there to kind of offer a bit of a challenge before you wrap this level up. But yeah, we are pretty much done with this one. You hit the switch here and it actually opens up the exit. I actually think this is one of the better executed Plutonia levels. It's not very long. The traps aren't that super mean and I think the level design kind of allows for a few different approaches to these rooms. So if you want to take them on head on you can but I think there's also the option for more inexperienced players to take them on by backing out and sort of it. the level doesn't force you to kind of play in a particular way. There are certain ways you can approach areas and I like that. I think some of the worst Plutonia levels kind of fall into the trap of forcing you to kind of deal with a lot of things at once, whereas this level kind of lets you do it piece by piece. Now you'll notice here at the start of the PS1 version of this level, they've actually put some pinkies in the starting area here, which is pretty interesting. So you can see we're still being gunned by chain gunners here. I don't know why I always find the pistol noise in the PS1 version of Doom more satisfying than the PC version. So we can run over here and grab the chain gun. You can see in this version they've actually put little steps out of the water there. Now in the PC version I didn't drop down here because I was able to kind of line up my run a bit more clearly but as you can see here with the PS1 pad it's a bit more difficult. So just, there we go, third time's the charm. So they've tried to avoid using barons in these PS1 levels. I'm curious to see what they actually put inside the switches here and it's Hell Knights. So a lot like Doom 2 on PS1, it seems like a lot of these levels kind of replace Barons with Hell Knights. 
I, I'm gonna assume because Hell Knights are a bit easier to deal with, Barons are a bit tanky, and maybe they felt that console players wouldn't be able to handle too many Barons at once. And you can see that instead of having Borny Boys running down the stairs towards us, it's just more Hell Knights. So you can see instead of a Mancubus over there, there's an Arachnatron. There's another Hell Knight. We've got rid of the Arachnatron there. We just got to be careful because I know there's going to be a bunch of chain gunners waiting and it's going to be a bit more difficult to sort of outrun them in this one because moving on the PlayStation pad is a bit more tricky in this version. You can also see that they've made this level a bit darker in places so this courtyard area isn't quite as flat coloured as it was in the PC version. It's actually it's actually quite dark and they've made more use of, of, of shadows. I'm going to grab this super shotgun a bit earlier in this version just because I think it'll actually help us against these caco demons. Take care of you. take care of that so you can see there's still two chain gunners in these little areas here and we still get the rocket launcher which is going to be very useful in this level so I don't want to trigger that trap area yet so instead what we'll do we'll just take out this chain gunner here As said, one of the things I think that plays to Ghost Town's advantage is that it's quite brief. It's not it's not an overly sort of complicated level, and I think that works to its benefit because a lot of these encounters are pretty fun and they don't outstay their welcome. Whereas I feel some of the later Plutonia levels, some of the traps will outstay their welcome a tiny bit. So we're going to take care of these Arachnatrons here. So I've triggered the chain gunners a bit early there, but that's fine. So we're just going to take care of the Arachnatrons here. There is no Spider Mastermind. So the final Doom on PS1 doesn't seem to like using the Cyber Demon or Spider Masterminds at all. I don't think they even show up in this version of the game. I think I think that they elected not to have those enemies in this version. If I, I, I'm not sure if they turn up in any of the master levels. I'll have to play through those to find out. Spoilers. But yes. I do find the way that they sort of interchange the monsters a bit interesting because it does change some of these levels. So for example, I'd argue this level's a lot easier on PS1 because the Borny Boys and the Spider Mastermind being taken out kind of defang this level a tiny bit. And I think that the lack of arch vials, as you'll see in a little bit, really does kind of take away from that trap room that we'll see in a few minutes. I do prefer the atmosphere of this version though, I have to say. I, again, I think that the lighting in these PS1 Doom levels is just better across the board. I think there's a general better atmosphere in this version of Doom. But that's a personal preference of mine. Again, the Borny Boys aren't here to attack us, so instead we get these Hell Knights, which is 
Fine. If we run to the back of this room here, you'll see there's just a med pack in here. Nothing too exciting. I also think the performance in this one is bearable. Like, for example, the worst this level gets is in this courtyard area here, where you kind of see the performance drop down ever so slightly, but it's nowhere near as bad as what we've seen in some of the previous levels and what we will probably see in the upcoming levels. You'll also notice they've gotten rid of a lot of the meaty textures here, so this room's a lot more kind of normal looking. Which kind of takes a bit of the atmosphere out of this last part of the level, because this last part of the level goes really hard on the kind of flesh textures. So you can see, instead of the Arch Vials there, we get Hell Knights, which is fine. It's not... I, I guess my problem with the Hell Knight is I kind of view them as a bit too easy. Especially when you've been loaded up with rockets and sell ammo for the whole level. You can also see that at the end of the level here, it's just a huge rush of Hell Knights. So we're just going to get rid of these guys. Especially that one there. And that's pretty much the end of the level. So like I said, the PS1 version of this level is very fearful in terms of level layouts and the traps. The main difference is that the enemies have been kind of swapped out. And in my opinion, the level kind of is weaker for it in the PS1 version. Just because when you take out the Spider Mastermind and replace it with Arachnotrons, you kind of end up with a level that's not nearly as intimidating. Also, the lack of Borny Boys and just the abundance of Hell Knight is kind of ruined by the fact that you're given so much ammo on this one. But again, I do like Ghost Town. I think it's one of the funner, earlier Plutonia levels, so definitely recommend this one if you haven't given it a try. Personally, for me, I would say that a lot of these opening levels are actually pretty fun for Plutonia, and I'm really enjoying this so far. Hope you're enjoying this Plutonia playthrough too, and let me know what you think of Ghost Town.